and gentlemen, welcome to an old gamer gaming. My name is Cage. We're playing some more Seven Days to Die. This is episode nine, I think. We're in day seven. It's horde day, ladies and gentlemen. Whew. I've been doing some work overnight. I'll show you that in a moment. Hopefully we'll be about ready. We have some work, more work to do today. I need to get some supplies. Need to maybe go visit the town again. See if the traders got any ammo. It's a beautiful day here in the desert. There's the morning bell. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get started. All right, so I spent the evening doing some upgrading of the uh, the, the frame shapes that we had laid down. Um, I still have to get some more uh, clay to make some more cobblestone. So we can finish cobbling up these stairs. I just have stairs at the bottom so that um, it, zombies don't get confused and start beating on um, blocks I don't want them to, block, to beat on. So they'll, hopefully they'll run up here. I did that on both sides. I think the other side I got cobbled, however. Yes, I did. So this is all cobbled. Um, not the whole thing. Uh, I will probably want to get the bottom cobbled in a minimum for the first horde night. I have the first fighting position, I think, pretty much um, done. Just using a quarter base. This will be where we smacky, smacky, smacky. Throw some grenades. Whatever we need to do. And uh, if we get overrun then we have ourselves a fallback position. So I'll, I'll get the rest of this uh, upgraded. Um, here's uh, the way in at the moment. Um, I don't know, it may stay the way in, I'm not sure. Uh, we come around here and we, we see that I've got this framed out but not complete yet. Um, there's a lot of wood that we don't need anymore. I'm sure you, you all remember my spectacular oopsie on the previous episode by taking out one block it collapsed so much stuff <clears throat> uh so for i might put like uh i'm gonna probably put a wedge in here to make this look a little more or less blocky but uh for this section here i had to take uh, instead of doing a whole block i did a half block because with the whole block here um zombie you, you can't fall on this side, obviously you can on this side. And I kind of want the zombies to be able to fall on both sides. So taking, putting in the half block now enables them to fall off on uh, both sides here. Um, coming over here, I will probably fill this in. In fact, I know I will. I just wasn't sure how I wanted to do it quite yet for this little section. But this just mimics the, uh, the, uh, the other position I just came from. Um, it's got the exact same concept. Um, you know, you come up, you throw the throw them down, and you wacky, 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 <clears throat> and uh, they fall off. And they have to run back all the way around again. So that's good. And then you know, we we will eventually add it some additional um, fallbacks. Probably the next one will be probably up here somewhere. Um, and I'm not sure how many I'll have, maybe another one, and then maybe like a, a, a re rebuild of a building up here with just uh, uh, maybe the, like the control center uh, of everything. I'm still fleshing out a lot of this. Uh, it's kind of, it's kind of coming together as I build it. I'm pretty happy with this. We need to get the other one upgraded um, just in case I have to fall back tonight. Um, I've got all kinds of wood still because I've been cutting these down uh, uh, so that we have less um, clutter in the area. We don't need these anymore because I'm taking off the... Uh... What? Where's the one I was hitting? <laughs> That's weird. Uh, anyways, I'm... I'm un... I'm taking off the stairs and doing my own pathway, so these supports here on the side become uh, unnecessary as we go. 
This one, however, I'll probably leave. Or I might make it into a more beefy. I might not, though. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, because this is going to be all beefed up. These are also... Do I have a screamer? Are you kidding me? Dang it, she got her screen off. Scream off. It's because my shooting was less than par. Another one? Where? Oh, there's the zombies. There you are. We just test out our base here real quick. Let's go. Close that, close that. All right, come on. See, look at him. What are you doing? Quit it. Hey, how are you doing? He's still beating on that thing. <sighs> Jeez Louise. Hey. So we can just sit here and beat on them. And they'll get up here and they might take forever. Careful, careful. Don't knock her off, Beetlejuice. He knocked off. So. Oh, we got some skill points to spend. I gained some overnight by doing the build, building. Oh my god, why do you guys? I don't have to fix that. Quit it. I may have to make those ramps. I don't like not being able to see over on that side very good. I don't know what they're doing. Are you still beating over here? No? I imagine for the horde when they're running at full speed. Probably fall off more. I don't think they can hit me. We'll see. I'll be building pits underneath here and underneath this one um, that they'll fall into, and we can have some traps and whatnot. It'll be fun. I was a too early of a swisher. Bam! Bye bye. Nice. Or be beaten. Okay, dude. Who's beating? What are you beating on? Can you not figure out how to get up here? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 oh. hold on. Alright, where's this other one at? I have my FPSs on, huh? Uh, maybe I'll leave it on for a minute. I'm only getting 40 at the moment. I should be getting more than that. Oh, I think it's... Oh no, yeah, see they took a... Oh, guys. Got a block over here. But anyways, we need to um we need to get some stuff. We need to get some things. So I'm gonna go 
you know, towards the city. And uh, I need some clay soil, which I can totally get pretty much anywhere. Uh, I need some meats if we can find a nice animal or, or a bunch. You're going to be a problem. Blueberries and murky. There's a purse. Just randomly out here in the middle of nowhere. With five dollars in it. Yeah, I didn't bring my dukes with me. So that you know, if he's got some ammo, that'll be it'll be fun not buying that. I want to thank everybody for coming by today and checking out my channel and watching my videos and my content. I have a lot of fun doing this. I mean, I love playing video games in general, but recording my silly self doing silly things and failing at games and putting it up on the internet for whoever wants to see it, see it. Yeah, I find that fun. Hi, bunny. Yeah. Oh, I didn't kill you? Oh, whatever. Okay, we gotta go. Ah, uh, another bird. Well, we're on our little journey to town, I... If you don't mind, hold on. Hold on. Come on, buddy. Uh, we got big boy over there, too. I just want to... What? Dude. As I was saying, if you are enjoying the content I put out, please go ahead and drop a like on my channel. That would help me out a ton. A little fledgling channel like myself, every like I can get, just uh, shows YouTube that uh, people want to see what uh, what I'm putting out. If you want to be notified when I drop new content, which I do a few times a week, go ahead and uh, click the subscribe button and ding that notification icon, and YouTube will be so kind as to let you know whenever I upload a new video. And as always, if you have a comment, please leave it down below. Uh, I, I want to hear what you what you what you have to think. Tips, tricks, requests, constructive criticisms. Just a friendly hello. I love them all. I love the I love the interaction. That's another reason why I'm doing this. Is for some uh, some distant human interaction, if you will. <laughs> What's up, chicken? Huh. Got some friends over there. All right, well, well, we are almost to the trader. Let's uh, let's go to Bob here and um, see if he has anything that we can't buy. What? Oh, hey, why do you get... Hey! Oh my gosh. I have to repair this. I have a concussion. Dude, no! Get away! Get away! Get away! Holy moly. I have an infection too. Well, that won't be a problem once we get back to the base. Oof. Boy, how did he get in? <laughs> There's an ammo pile here. Nice. Oh, we have these pigs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can totally have some meat here. Hey, buddy. Bam. Oh, hey. Give us a little bit of meat. 
I should have brought my darn money, silly. Oh well, yeah, you know what? You bought something. I didn't buy anything. What do you got in here? Anything I really want to get right this second? Not really, honestly, because I didn't bring my money. Damn, that sucks. I could go back and get it, but I am a ways away from the city. This is a savage country. Let's uh, let's see if we can find any um, desert wear. Wake up. A skirt. That's got purple. I will take that. Because you know, purple's the best color. There's a book pile here. Oh, that's because it's a cracker book. Oh, what do we got? Bar brawling. Boozed up. Beer less. No longer. Beer no longer blurs your vision. Oh, that's handy. Oh, my. Oh, you're feral. No, 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 no. Get away. Feral Marlene. I mean, I'm not here for the books, really, but, you know, I do like them. I do like the books. What's in here? Anything good? Uh, we need dirt. Okay, yeah. Well, wake up. I already made noise. How many of them are you? One, two. Suit pants. I don't think suit pants are going to be unhotness. Hello? Oh, dude, I took your arm off. Well, this was really not um, very time effective, but purple dye. Yeah. Right. Let's just, let's just head home. I know, I hear you. My arm is sprained. Thank you. It will be so nice when we get the motorbike. All right, I'll see you back at the base unless something interesting happens. Not cool. Airdrop. Did you drop it? Oh, over there. Well, that's way over there. Well, actually, that will be right on the way home. Nice. Okay, cool. We'll, we'll get ourselves an airdrop. All right. See you when we get there. Right. There's the airdrop. Still looking for the eggs. Always the eggs. What we got? What we got? Scrap armor and cornbread recipe, which I already know. Okay. So what we got in scrap armor? Ooh. Well, pretty much a whole set of it. All right. Let's see if we can find any nests, and I'll meet you back at the base. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are coming back up on our base. This POA, I want to go in soon. Probably do it after the horde. 
because it is now two o'clock and we have, we have things to do. I also took off the um, stock doors and added my own door uh, on both on both sides here and uh, added the hatch so that we can have a little protection. We have an infection of 7.2%, so I'm need two honeys for that. We can make two bacon and eggs. That's a good start. Uh, oh, I do have a pain pill. Nice. Can I make a poncho? Whoa. Poncho. I can. 20 leather. Make that. That would help with the hotness. We can make 16 more. Let's do that. Coffee. We can make 11 some soil. Because we've got to make, you know, we're going to start digging up around here. There's like this whole area here I can just get rid of. Oh, again, hold on. I forget. We have three points available. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Um, I'm going to put another point into strength because we can even get sexy T-Rex. And I'm going to put a point into sexy T-Rex. Um... I'm gonna take uh, take the looter or the Daring Adventure looter rank one because getting extra um, quest rewards is nice <laughs> and five percent more dukes also nice. Okay, let's um, we gotta bust some butt here. So first thunder and lightning. Very, very frightening. Uh, so what I did, let's go look real quick, is I took out the stairs on this side. I put in, made it all ramps. Whereas this side over here, I left it the way it was originally. With the stairs, I did cobblestone most things, however. How are you? Wow, okay. Uh, anyways, I left these with just the blocks. I'm gonna, curious, I'm just gonna kinda see uh, which side fares better. If any. It's eight o'clock. Let's get this tree and we'll go back. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have a half an hour, 30 minutes in game before the horde. I spent a few minutes <clears throat> upgrading some more of the area. Uh, <clears throat> the um, fighting positions, just a little bit to wood. <clears throat> I like this because if I need to, you know, eat something or so that I can just step back for a minute. Yeah. All right. Well... Hopefully, this goes well. All right, we got ourselves a few arrows. I should be able to pick them off. Like just, ba -choo, ba -choo, ba -choo, ba -choo. got me some, got me a few ammos. Let's uh, go ahead and reload that. So if I need to, you know, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. so I think this will be good. We are about to do this, ladies and gentlemen. Woohoo! Seven day horde. Wish me luck. Good luck, me. Shouldn't be a problem. 
he said trepidatiously. I hear them. Okay. They're coming up there. All right. They're up there. Much faster. Oh, hey, buddy. Uh. Why am I... Uh, so slow. I don't know what's going on here. See, they fall off pretty well. It's like, oh, gotta come back. Dude, you're... Wow, what... What is with my bow? I don't know. It's not working. It's, well, I mean, I'm sure it's me, but... I never took my copies either. <laughs> when I get the stun baton with the repulsor mod out. It's gonna just... I don't like the... I don't like you doing that. Quit that. It might be that little pillar I put on the front. I'm gonna take that off. I don't like them jumping up on that. I'm gonna be putting electrical wires through here and... You guys beating on that? You are. Quit beating on that. Quit my things, man. I don't like it. <laughs> Naughty zombies. Oh. Oh, okay. The bow's just a little too slow yet. Or I'm, maybe I'm just a little too slow with the bow. I don't know. The ramp definitely seems to be working better. Oh my god. Two might not be like branch like that. Might not have been the best idea because then I have to spend my time between both sides. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, dude. Oh, looks like a new wave coming in. Oh boy, well, that's not very good at all. Yeah, that's uh... Bad zombie, bad zombie, bad zombie, bad, bad, bad zombie. That's creepy, man. That's so creepy. Wah! Sid, bro. Did I beat the horde already? It's only midnight. Is there another wave coming?
It's awfully quiet, other than the lightning and the thunder. Oh yeah, see they broke that. So the ramp did better. Uh, if we really uh, did that by quarter after midnight, that's very impressive. Now granted, I only have, I think, set to 16, so maybe I'll turn it up uh, to 32. And I've never played with anything higher than the default on the Horde, so I didn't really know what to expect. I mean, <clears throat> I see all the YouTubers that I watch, they all do 64, and I'm like, eh, I don't know if I am ready for that yet, but the space easily did 16. And I think this wouldn't have uh, broke so quickly if I, A, didn't have this piece on it right here because they're jumping up on it hmm is it the railing or is it this piece I don't know, I'm gonna have to do some research on that. Cause I'm not sure. But yeah, once they get through that first hatch, that's kind of uh, very concerning cause they can get in here very easily. Um, I'm hungry. Well, all right, I'll tell you what. You can have a celebratory chicken soup. Did I just get the one bag? Okay. That's fine. Well, nice. Well, I'm I'm very happy with the uh the way this held up. I'll make this into a ramp over here too. Oop. I'll make this into a ramp over here. That seemed to do better. Because they didn't they didn't break anything, and this, and some of these are even still wood. So, they do. Did they actually beat on this at all? No. Did that seem to work better? Okay. Whereas this, they just beat the crap out of it. They beat it up, beat it up, beat it up. Mm -hmm. Actually, wait. No, they can stick it up here. They just, they didn't actually break anything. Okay. Thought they broke off and they couldn't jump up there. They can. And they, I don't know, they did beat on it, but eh, we'll just make it a ramp. That's fine. I don't know what they had the problem with. I can go up there pretty quickly. <laughs> he said as he fell off. <clears throat> All right, and this is the um, this is the second fighting position. That's why it sticks out a bit. Uh, you know what I think I'll do is so this is going to be all enclosed. This is where I'm going to have you know the the wiring and. You know, we'll have traps <clears throat> along the, the walkways here, you know, as they walk by and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But I think I'll do a little, I'll do a little bridge over to here so I don't have to go out and go around. I can just go bloop and I'm right over here then, um, you know, ready to take it on if I have to fall back. And then I can do the same thing. Well, if I do that, though, if I do that then that means the zombies will be able to follow unless I have a ladder up or just a very secure door mm, or I could I could do the um, just thinking out loud here sorry I could do the old uh, powered hatch trick and, and uh, as like a drawbridge type thing I don't know just uh
Hmm. Something to think about. I like the idea of being able to just travel internally. Because you know. when you're like, oh no, I gotta fall back, and you're like, oh god, uh, uh, and you have to get through here, you have to do here, you have to get up here, and you gotta turn that down, you gotta turn that down. And uh, oh, I, took the <laughs> I took the frame shape down. Well. Anyways, I like that idea. That's a cool idea. I mean, it, you know, that'll build up over time, right? And then we'll this if we have to fall back here, we'll we'll do the same thing. We'll bring out and around, and then we'll. I don't mind bringing them up, and we'll probably just turn this into a ramp. Um, and then up here, like at this corner, we'll make our next fall back. And we could make a little network inside to get to it. And then we'll do one more fall back here. Our final position, if you will. And up here we'll build a structure that we'll probably put like our escape ladder in so that, you know, if we need to, we can get down. The other question I'm thinking of to myself now at the moment is, how am I going to get, so, let me think. <clears throat> Alright, we're here. I don't particularly want to jump down here. Alright. Alright, so this is all enclosed. You know, like this. This will be fixed to be a, a full block, not this centered half block, or whatever. <sighs> this will all be enclosed. How are we going to get in? If we, well, you know what? We can have a door, as long as there isn't a route to me that they can get to. Like, they can't get to that. So I don't think they'll break the door down. All right, you can have some pairs. Well, anyways, I'm gonna wait until four. And uh, if no other or no one else shows up by then, we will call this an episode at that point in time. So I'll see you back here. Then. I just realized that I do not have a better pipe machine gun than this level three or tier three pipe machine gun. Ladies and gentlemen, the morning bell is about to be upon us. Day seven horde successful. Yay. Not that that was a huge horde, but it was a learning experience for sure. We'll make some changes before the next uh, horde on 14, day 14. And, uh, and, and we'll have fun with that between now and then. But I'm going to call the episode here. We've come to the morning time. Time to go get a little snooze and then get busy on the next day's activities. Thank you so much for coming by. I hope you come by for the next episode. Remember to like, comment, or subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at an old gamer or on Facebook at facebook.com slash an old gamer gaming. Please be kind to one another. We are all we've got in this wild, wacky world. From an old gamer to you, peace.